In this tutorial, I will use Photoshop Elements 12 and Picto Colors iCorrect Edit Lab Pro plugin to easily enhance the color of winter photos. Even when shot on a sunny day, snowy winter photos can still look a bit lifeless and dull, particularly if you're using a point and shoot camera and don't take the time to set the white balance before you shoot. So let's open iCorrect Edit Lab Pro and see what we can do to enhance the color of this photo. Edit Lab's color tools are grouped into four tabs that if you use in a proper sequence, one, two, three, and four, you will avoid the chase your tail syndrome that you experience when using the traditional Photoshop uh, color tools. First tab removes the color cast. So by clicking on something neutral, which is white, gray, or black, we can remove the color cast. Now you notice there was a slight blue cast to this particular photo. Next, we'll set the white and black point. Now, I like to use the smart color function, which automatically grabs the two endpoints and the middle point. Now, we can adjust to either one of these, but we can let's move the midtones a little bit, brighten them up. Now, the third tab is the brightness, contrast, and saturation control, where we have independent controls of the shadows and the highlights. So, let's boost the shadows a little bit, reduce the highlights enhance the contrast somewhat and the saturation. Now we can compare the corrections we've made to the original by simply clicking on the preview button. All right now the fourth tab is Edit Lab's Hue Control Point technology which allows you to adjust the color and saturation of various hues within the image. Now let's start off with the blue sky. Now, Edit Lab also has some built-in memory colors. There's skin, foliage, and the blue sky. By clicking on the blue sky, we automatically change the color of the blue sky. Now you can also establish a number of your own preferences if you'd like, uh, some red, green, or whatever other colors that become your memory colors for your various images. And that really speeds up the, you know, the process of color correction. Now let's move into zoom in on these rocks back here by holding down the Alt, Control Alt key. And we'll click on the yellowish hue and we'll boost the saturation of it a bit. Maybe just reduce the brightness slightly. And we'll back back out of that. Compare that with the original, and we've really improved this image dramatically. Now let's click the Sharpen button such that when we edit image, we not only change the color, we will also add a bit of sharpening to it. Now let's try this on another image. Same thing, we'll select Edit Lab Pro, click on the white to neutral areas, and again another blue cast. Set the white, black, and midpoints. Push down a little bit. Now we'll do the brightness. Increase the shadows. Reduce the highlights. Increase the contrast. And then the saturation. Compare with the original. Looks much better. Now we'll go to the Hue Select Control. This also has a bit of blue sky hidden up here. So let's click on some blue in the sky. Alright, and we'll boost the saturation of the blue. And let's reduce the brightness. Alright, and we'll zoom back out. Now this is another area of interest, the rust color in the rock. By clicking on it, in this case we want to boost the brightness, it's just a little bit in the shadow, and we'll boost the saturation, zoom back out, compare it with the original. Dramatic difference. But before we save this, let's look at another function here, which is automatic black and white control. By clicking on the black and white button, we turn this into a really a brilliant black and white image. That looks really pretty neat. Or we can turn it into a CP image. Go back, and we've done a, I think, a terrific job on two images, and it really only took us a couple of minutes. Now you can get your own copy of iCorrect Edit Lab Pro by going to Pick the Colors website. That's www.pictocolor.com or simply 
Google iCorrect Edit Lab and you'll find the plugin. Thank you.